We have a letter! Ah, uh, yes. And this letter is for you, my little panda. It has your name on it. This was the baby panda's first ever letter. And he was very, very excited. But in his excitement, he did not even notice the naughty baby wolf listening to them from behind the window. Hmm, I wonder what is written in that letter. Everybody gets letters, but I never do. Oh, great. This is an invitation letter. Guess who's coming to the forest? A balloon cellar bear? No. Hmm, a clown parrot? <laughs> no, an Iceman giraffe. Hooray, 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 woohoo! So, an Iceman giraffe. You all will see what it means to not invite me. When the sun was shining directly overhead, the baby animals who wanted to eat ice cream gathered near the bamboo trees and were waiting for the Iceman giraffe. But no one came. I'm tired of waiting. When will the Iceman giraffe come? Um, well, it was written here as the place on the invitation, right? Yeah, yeah, we're waiting in the right place, right here. After a while, the Iceman giraffe came to the baby animals sadly. But he didn't have any ice cream cart with him. Sorry to keep you guys waiting, but my ice cream cart got lost. Aww. This morning, I put strawberry, cocoa, and vanilla ice cream in my car and hit the road. I wanted to rest by an apple tree as I was walking by the river. At that time, I ate the fragrant red apples on the tree. I was just about to set off again, and guess what I saw? My ice cream cart was gone! I searched, I looked everywhere, but no, no. <laughs> Don't be sad, Iceman Giraffe. We will help you. We will help you find your ice cream cart? Really? They all went to the apple tree to find the lost ice cream cart. At that moment, the naughty wolf, who kidnapped the ice cream cart into his own den, started to eat all the ice creams with appetite. Yum, yum, yum! <laughs> oh, it's all mine! No one but me will be able to eat ice cream! <laughs> the baby panda, who was chasing the ice cream cart, showed his friends the tire tracks on the ground with a magnifying glass in his hand. Here are the ruts of the ice cream cart! This way! Come on! However, the ruts ended when they got to where the tall grass was. Oh, what are we going to do now? Friends, I smell a scent. Do you feel it too? As if... Strawberry, yes. This is the scent of strawberry. Panda and his friends saw a piece of strawberry ice cream smeared on the trunk of the tree. I think we are on the right track. Come on, this way. For a while, everyone successfully followed the strawberry scent. However, when the road led to the swamp, the smell of strawberries has left its place to the smell of mud. Well, we've come this far, but I can't see an ice cream cart around. Aha! Uh -huh. It's not an ice cream cart, but the mud-smeared ruts continue here. Yes, moreover, this time, there is not only a wheel, but also a paw print. The baby panda and his friends immediately realized 
that the mud marks they found belonged to a wolf. So, following the tracks, they came to the wolf's den. The fox said that one of them had to go in and get the ice cream cart. But, but I'm so scared. No, 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 I, I can't. I'm so scared too, I can't. Huh? I can. Panda gathered all his courage and walked towards the wolf's den. Realizing that someone was coming, the naughty baby wolf immediately shouted loudly and tried to scare him. Who is it? Do not come! I set a trap! If you come in, <laughs> I will <laughs> eat you! Panda knew from the wolf's voice that he was very sick. So he fearlessly went up to him and saw that all the ice cream had been eaten. Oh, you are so sick, wolf! <laughs> I'm not sick. All the ice creams were mine, okay? <laughs> Panda barely persuaded the wolf and took him out. The other animals and the giraffe were very surprised to see the wolf so sick. They immediately seated him next to a stone, warmed by the sun. One offered a hot fruit tea, the other a healthy bamboo soup. And the other handed him a long scarf to warm him. If you hadn't stolen the ice cream cart, we'd share the ice creams and have a good time together, naughty wolf. Yes, and you wouldn't be cold and sick on this beautiful summer day. But you weren't going to share your ice cream with me because you didn't send me an invitation letter. <laughs> when the baby wolf said that he had not received a letter, the crocodile pointed to the branches of the tree standing in front of him. I think the letter you received got caught in the branches of the tree over there. That's why you haven't seen it. Oh, here, the postman stork always delivers the letters to their owners. Look, it even has your name on it. From that day on, the wolf became a more careful pup and treated his good friends better because he never forgot that the most important thing in forest life is solidarity and friendship. Once upon a time, there was a small house in the most beautiful part of the forest. And in that house lived a girl with blonde curls named Goldilocks. Goldilocks was so cute that everyone loved her so much. But this cute girl could be very naughty sometimes. One, two, three, no! Goldilocks accidentally knocked over the pie her mother prepared for her. Goldilocks, now you'll have to wait a little longer for breakfast, cause I have to cook a new one. And by the way, do not go out of the garden and don't go to the forest without telling me. Be a good girl now, you hear? Goldilocks was so bored while waiting for breakfast. One quiet step towards the forest. I wonder how far I can get before anyone notices I'm gone. <laughs> While her mother was busy in the kitchen, Goldilocks took one step after another out of the garden and into the forest. In the depths of that forest was a very cute bamboo house. A cute and sweet panda family was living in this house. There was a huge father panda, a medium-sized mother panda, and a tiny little baby panda. The mother panda would get up in the morning before everyone else and prepare a bamboo mash with vanilla for breakfast. 
father panda woke up to the sweet smells coming from the kitchen. Then he went to wake up his baby. However, the baby panda, who loves sleeping so much, could not wake up. But he could not resist the wonderful smell of mash on his nose, and finally woke up. The panda family were together around the table. They started to eat the bamboo mash the mother panda has prepared, but the mash was very hot. Mommy, Daddy, how about we wander around in the woods while we wait for our food to cool down? And we can collect some more bamboo and prepare food for the evening. The panda family left their meals on the table and went out to collect bamboo. Meanwhile, colorful butterflies surrounded Goldilocks, who frolicked this way and that in the forest. How beautiful this forest is! Look at these butterflies! <laughs> Goldilocks continued to go deeper and deeper into the forest while trying to follow one of the butterflies and finally got lost among the huge trees. As time passed, she was both tired and very hungry. She was almost about to cry. But she suddenly saw a bamboo house a little further ahead. She approached the house with joy and looked through the window. She saw three bowls of food inside. She went excitedly to the door and knocked on it three times. The door wasn't locked and it opened when she knocked and Goldilocks was so hungry. Hey, is there anyone here? And there sat the bamboo mash in one large bowl, one medium bowl, and one small bowl. Since she was very hungry, she wanted to eat the bamboo mash in the biggest bowl. But when she wanted to taste it and put it in her mouth, her mouth just burned. Oh, ah, 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 oh. This dish is too hot. So she tasted the mash in the medium bowl. And this dish is too cold. Yuck! Then she took a spoonful of bamboo mash from the small plate. Mm -mm. This dish is neither too hot nor too cold. Just right for me. Goldilocks ate all the mash in the smallest bowl. She wanted to go and sit by the fireplace to get some rest. Here, too, she saw three different seats. She tried the big wooden seat first. Uh, uh, uh. This seat is very hard and hot because it is so close to the fireplace. She then sat down in the medium-sized pink seat. Uh, uh. This seat is too soft. This time, Goldilocks sat on the little red seat right next to her. Oh, this is very comfortable. But just then, the tiny seat broke into pieces. Oh no! Maybe I'd better go and lie in bed for a while. <laughs> Goldilocks entered the bedroom of the bamboo house. There were three beds, one large, one medium, and one small. Goldilocks first laid down on the largest bed. This bed is so hard, and the pillow is so huge. So she jumped onto the medium-sized bed, but it was too soft. Then she jumped onto the smallest bed. Oh, this bed is great. <sighs> Let's sleep well. Goldilocks fell asleep in the smallest bed. 
the bear family, who did not understand how time passed while collecting bamboo in the forest, finally returned home. As soon as they arrived, everyone wanted to sit and have breakfast. But a surprise was waiting for them at the table. Oh, someone has tasted my bamboo mash. Someone has tasted my bamboo mash, too. Bamboo mash. <laughs> it's all gone. <laughs> the panda family stood up and started looking around. The seats next to the fireplace took their attention. Hmm. Ah, uh, somebody has sat in my favorite chair. Someone has sat in my seat, too. Somebody sat in my chair, too, and broke it. The panda family went to the bedroom with curiosity. Someone has slept in my bed and pushed my pillow to the floor. Someone has jumped on my bed. Mom, Daddy, oh, someone is lying in my bed right now. Mother Panda and Father Panda did indeed see someone sleeping in the bed of their baby. When Father Panda lifted up the cover, Goldilocks woke up immediately. When she saw three huge pandas in front of her, she was very scared. Who are you? Why are you sleeping in my bed? Well, I apologize for breaking into your house. I had lost my way in the forest and went in and ate some food. Then I fell asleep. Please don't be angry with me. It's not nice to break into other people's homes, little girl. Besides, your family must be very worried about you. Let's take you home. The panda family knew every road in the forest very well. So, they found Goldilocks's house in no time. Mommy, baby, my dear girl, we've been looking for you everywhere. We've been plum worried. I promise I will never leave the garden without telling you. Goldilocks's parents thanked the panda family for bringing their baby home. Since then, Goldilocks and Baby Panda became very close friends. And now, Goldilocks always asks permission from her mother to visit the Panda family, and she does so often. So she's never been lost in the forest since then, because her closest friend, the Baby Panda, was always with her. <laughs> <laughs>